In this module, we're going to go through how to do an iterative alignment. With this iterative alignment, though, what we're going to do is we're not going to use datums since this part doesn't have any datums to it. Uh, the drawing doesn't call for any datums or any special alignment, but what I would like to do is measure to the CAD model. So to get into the CAD model alignment, I'm going to use the iterative alignment. And I'm not going to set weights on this part at all. But what I'm going to do is pick up on surface points and locations on the part that are mutually perpendicular, either side to side or up and down or fore and aft. And I'm going to lock this part in as if I was setting weights. But what I'll do is I'll pick up on surface points and just let it float and best fit with that iterative until it solves. Now, I've prepared the model already, so if you guys haven't seen that part of the, the training, go back to the model preparation uh, portion of that and take a look at how I took the surface data that's in the model, in the IDUS model, and I prepared it for this measurement session. But now that I've got the, the part all blocked up on my table here, it's fixtured in pretty well, I've got my arm in a great location, and one thing I did want to mention is before I started uh, this module, what I do is I always make sure that my arm is placed in an appropriate spot. I don't want to make sure, I don't want to, uh, to start measuring and find out that I can't quite, quite get to one of the spots. I do have one area that I can't get to, which is okay, because I would like to show you how to do a leapfrog with this part as well. So um, all of, the, all of the, the surfaces that I'm going to get with the iterative alignment will be will be reached in this position here. The other thing I want to note too is the size of the probe. So arm position and size of probe, both of those are very important for every measurement session. And you've probably heard that before in, in these videos and you're probably going to hear it again in these videos. But what I wanted to make sure is that, that you're, um, you're not halfway through your measurement session and you have to switch out probes. I will go through that if you haven't seen that already, but I will go through that in a, in a module as well. Um, so right now what I'd like to do is start measuring this part up and getting it into the alignment using the iterative. If you can see my screen here, what I've got is the IGES file is up. I have got surfaces that I've already picked inside of the SAT file. Even though the, uh, the drawing doesn't call for a datum reference, I've still given some datum names to some of the features here as if I was measuring it to datums. But what I've got are surface patches. In fact, I will highlight those and just do a quick view. And you can see a couple of them are turning red here. Up on this top surface, there's another lid that I'll mate to this top. So I'm picking up on the top surface in a few different spots to call that the datum A. And that's going to align me for up-down. The B datum, if I can zoom in a little bit more, are surface patches that solve for side to side, but what they are is plates or uh, uh, surfaces where plates for hinges will mount for side to side, and that'll be right in through here. And then again, up on the top surface here for the lid, and then off the front of this solution tank, you can see a couple little red patches right here, just in this front corner here for fore aft, and it's a little bit tough to see, but right there as well for fore aft. Uh, just because it's in that, in that uh, yellow sea of wireframe. So, okay, I'll hit the E key just to get everything out there. Now, the key to the iterative alignment, though, would be to use surface points uh, in this situation here. Surface points, if you haven't gone through that yet, hit that module as well because that's very important for this measurement session. But let's go to measure point and then surface point. And since I've got my model out here and it's already prepared, this will be a fairly quick, fairly quick way of getting some measured data into the CAD model here as we align. So I'm going to pick up on this top surface here, which I've called A1. And uh, you can see my probe's out there in the middle of absolutely nowhere. So I'm going to shoot three points in a small triangle, solve that for A1. But what I'll do is I'll say, okay, let's go to the nominals tab right now. And then this down arrow here, since I've already got the model prepared, I've called that A1. 
And what's very cool is it changes the label for you as well. So now that point name is called A1. All right, I'll say OK to that. And now I'll go to my second one. And I cannot remember if it was this or this, but I will shoot here first. Just another up-down point that is on that, that surface where the lid mates. And since I cannot remember what I named it, I will go to the Nominals tab. And this time, I'm going to pick it from the screen. Okay. And then I'm going to zoom in just a little bit to make sure I grab that right patch. Okay. And this area right here is where I want to go. Oh, okay. I called it A3. So I'm a little out of sequence here, but no issue. I'll say okay to that. Now let's go to this back portion here. Okay. That one. Go to the Nominals tab as well. And that is a 2. And OK to that. Now, I've got a, a patch up on the front here that I called A4. And I'm going to hit it in two spots. OK, there's one of them. And again, if I didn't remember that name, I could go to the Nominals tab with this arrow and go pick around in that area, someplace there, it looked like on the model. Well, there it is, A4, nominal A4 is the name of that entire surface patch. But what I'm going to call that is A4.1. And then I've got the other side in the front. Again, three points on a, on a surface point here. And then I will call that A4.2. Again, I'm just associating the nominal here. A4.2. Very good. Now, all of my A datums are, are hit with a surface point. Okay, now what we want to do is go to the B datums. This B datum here is the rear hinge plate surface. I'll do three points on a small surface point there. And then I've got that in my model known as B rear. Say OK to that. And then I'll run up front here. And that one will be called B front. Got that one there. And the two, there's two front patches along the, just below the, the surface of where the lid mates. And they're just four aft surfaces that are mutually perpendicular to A and B. So I love to use those to block this into place. So I will run up front, and I will nail this guy first. Again, three and a small little triangle surface point. That is going to be C on the front right. And then OK. And now the last point here, which will be on the front left. Then I can put this arm down, have two hands on the computer. And that will be C front left. And then I'll say OK to that. All right, then I'm going to escape out of taking surface points. And you'll notice I've got some surface points that are in the middle of absolutely nowhere. They're not associated to the model yet. Nothing's happened because I haven't used the iterative alignment command. All right, what I usually like to do is a, is a save right here. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to let that save the, uh, the surface points that I've collected in there. That might take a little while, so I might fast forward through that here for you guys. Hey, not too bad. All righty. The next thing we'll do is we will go right to the alignment menu, iterative. That iterative alignment, what it goes through, and it finds point reducible features, features in your model so far that you've measured that are uh, they're available for um, for doing your surface point alignment here or your iterative alignment. So I'm going to highlight them all, man. That's I want every one of those things. That's why I measured them. So let's take them, let's put them through the iterative. Let's just say OK to that. And now every point that we've associated with the surface, it runs out there and it tries to find its mating surface. And what it's done is it's come through, it's found its surface that we told them to go to. 50 thou, that's about the max error that we see. That's the first thing that I look at is how bad was the, was the alignment error. 50 thou, not bad for a blow molded tank. 
a rotationally molded tank. So and if you wanted to, if you wanted to look down here further and say, which point gave me that? Oh, it's that C front right. That gave me about 50 thou. Okay. At this point, you've got the option to either omit it or you could, uh, I'll just say yes, but not go through it. And, or you could remeasure it. And by doing that, you can realign the part based on a, a point that wasn't taken in the right location or, um, or it just didn't, it didn't align very well. So you've got that option there. But I do like this. This is pretty good. 50 thou. I will say OK and let it go. Now, I'm going to zoom in to, maybe I'll jump into this little point here. This was A1. Maybe zoom out just a little bit, and you'll see that it is right on that surface. I'll rotate about, and you'll see it went to that surface as good as it could, and as well as the other points, too, have gone to the surfaces that they were told to go to. And again, I can prove it to myself by going back to review features and then highlighting on all of the a datum points and seeing where they are in the Z location, since that for me is the up down in this model. 12 thou, 8 thou, 7 thou, right on money, about 12 thou. So that looks like it's solved for up down pretty well. B, okay, for both of these two points here, I'm only concerned with the X direction here. Um, and I've got about 21 thou, 24 thou for, for side to side. And then for fore and aft, I've got those two points on the front. And sure enough, there's the C right front or the front right point that gave me about the 51 thou for the distance, uh, the dimension away from the surface patch that we told it to find. So this is kind of a nice little way of double checking to make sure that you're confident in your alignment that the points that you've measured have truly gone to the surface where they were supposed to go. Mm -hmm.